Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariane. I am a luxury travel advisor based in Vancouver, Canada. And today we are here in Avignon. I am so excited to bring you along this morning. Uh, after our tasting tour here in Avignon, we're actually heading to Arles. Um, we're actually not sailing on the ship. Um, there's actually a ship docked right next to us, so that's why the curtains are currently closed. <laughs> <laughs> Very excited to take you along today as we taste our way through Avignon. So let's get the day going! Our Taste of Avignon tour was a historical walking tour mixed with local bites along the way which was a feast for the senses. into a few shops tasting locally made products. I actually really enjoy cooking when I'm at home, so I usually buy herbs and spices on my travels. So I bought some herbs de Provence from this shop. From the fragrant provincial markets to walking by quaint cafes serving coffees and crepes, every moment exploring Avignon was a treat. The history and culture of Avignon is truly captivating, with Avignon being first settled in 539 BC, and its stunning medieval architecture including seeing the famous Palais de Popes and the Pont de Avignon. Here in Avignon, seven popes actually resided here. We made a few more culinary stops including to this shop where we tried some local cookies and some chocolate that was made with lavender. On another one of our stops, we tried a local wine with some bread, cheeses, charcuterie, and even some local olive oil. Afterwards, our last visit was to Liz Howells, which is the local market here in Avignon. Thank you. 
I really enjoyed our morning exploring Avignon and can see myself coming back here and spending much more time exploring all the culinary delights this city and region has to offer. After our tour of Avignon, we bus to Arles, as our ship had already moved onto Arles during our morning tour. Once in Arles, we had a light lunch on board and were off on our next walking tour in the afternoon of historical Arles. Arles was a wonderful city to explore. During our tour, we were able to see many of the main highlights of Arles, including the Roman amphitheater that was built in 90 AD that could seat over 20,000 spectators. As a luxury travel advisor, my clients typically receive added benefits when booking vacations, hotel stays, and cruises through me and my team. I'd love to work with you as your travel advisor if you don't already have one. You can contact us using the link found in the description box down below. We explored so much of the old town area of Arles and made our way to the Hotel de. Vincent Vergoc spent some time at the Hotel de in Arles, which was then a functioning as a hospital. In December 1888, he checked himself into the hospital after experiencing a mental breakdown following an argument with his friend and fellow artist Paul Gauguin. Vincent van Gogh remained at the Hotel Dieu for a few weeks and during his stay he painted several works that were inspired by the hospital that are considered some of his most iconic pieces. The Hotel Dieu is an important site for fans of van Gogh as it offers a glimpse into the artist's life during his time here in Arles. We also walked by Le Café du Nuit that inspired another one of his works. Finally, on our way back to the Amicello, we came upon the spot that Vincent van Gogh was inspired to paint Starry Night on the Rhone. It was then time for our last dinner on board the Amicello. I had a lighter dinner tonight as we had quite the foodie tour earlier today and even after all that walking, I was still quite full. We also unfortunately had to pack as we were departing the ship early the next morning. friends so unfortunately it is now time for us to have go down have breakfast and then leave the ship we are f heading to the Marseille airport from Arles and then we will be flying to Athens today so yeah really sad that this portion of our trip has come to an end we will actually be heading to Athens for a few nights and then we are boarding the Seabourn Encore. So very excited to bring you that series up next. So we are gonna head down for breakfast now and head to the train. Let's go. After our last breakfast, we said our goodbyes to the crew and Jesse, our amazing cruise director and headed to the Arles train station where we took a train to the Marseille airport. I had such an amazing experience traveling with Alma Waterways and highly suggest them as a river cruise line. If you're interested in booking your own Alma Waterways cruise, please reach out. Myself and my team would love to help you. Stay tuned for my complete ship tour of the Amicello, which is coming up in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below as there are more travel videos to come.